A deadly mid-air collision, flight cancellations and radar failures are pushing the federal government to take action. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy has unveiled a sweeping plan to overhaul the country's aging air traffic control system. 27 News Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson has more. From the sky to the control tower, America's air travel system is under stress. It's been a patchwork of fixes, partial funding. A fatal mid-air collision along with a string of crashes and technical breakdowns at Newark Liberty Airport have triggered urgent calls for reform by Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy. We absolutely can do it. I think our country, our people, those who use the airspace, they deserve this moment in time to actually deliver an air traffic control system that's going to keep them safe. Duffy rolled out a multi-billion dollar plan to modernize that system, promising new technology and hundreds of new air traffic controllers. President Trump says having an upgraded air traffic control system would have helped prevent that mid-air collision that happened earlier this year in the nation's capital. What would have happened is all sorts of bells and sirens would have been going off three minutes before that accident happened. Usually fierce competitors, major airline CEOs stood united with the Department of Transportation at Thursday's announcement. It is absolutely the best opportunity that we've had in decades to do something about our outdated air traffic control infrastructure. The announcement is welcome news for the National Transportation Safety Board. The aging system poses an untenable risk to safety. Passengers and pilots alike are hoping this new plan brings real change to America's sky. Working for you in Washington, Rashad Hudson, 27 News.